Another issue that arose for me in this whole sordid matter is how the struggle kits have now become a commodity which Swapo can bargain with, and I put this to land expert Tommy Bayer. I mean, it seems a bit random on the surface, but I don't know where the struggle kits fit into the investment plan. And, and this is really where the shortage of a investment certificate from the Ministry of Trade and Industry, which would specify the nature of investment, the value of the investment, the type of investment, including the skills development and human resource aspects. So what aspects of the business will be managed locally? What skills will be transferred locally? We have heard nothing of that. What we have heard is 15 struggle kids will be employed. And I'm sorry for the scale of land that we are talking about here, given the political climate that we have just emerged from, the conference on land that we have just emerged from. This seems like a very random afterthought, if, if I may say so. Uh, we will deal with 15 struggle kids in a very undefined and unstructured manner. One would expect that investment of this scale would know exactly the scale, the scope, the value, uh, the various disciplines, the training. Op These are the things that you would expect would be spelled out, which obviously at this stage we're not privy to because I don't know if such an investment certificate has in fact been, been issued. And I think that is also something worth looking at.